Did you know July? It's National Pickle Month, and today we're celebrating with Pickle Forward, a Bloody Mary recipe by Michigan Made Vodka Company. Here to show us how to make it is Cole Levy from American Liquor Company. Good morning, Cole. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. So what goes into making a great Bloody Mary, and do pickles add to the recipe? I know you have a demo that you're going to show for us. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what I love about a Bloody Mary is you can really make it your own. You know, if you love a pickle, you can make it so pickle forward. But if you want to really bump up that Worcestershire, or if you want to put a cheeseburger in it, you can. That's what's so fun about making a Bloody Mary. And you've seen those pictures of those Bloody Marys with like chicken wings and sliders and people get pretty creative. So I'm curious, does it matter what type of pickle you choose and, and how does that affect the Bloody Mary you're going to be making? Yeah, absolutely. I think the pickle definitely affects the quality of the Bloody Mary. I mean, there's nothing worse than making this big, beautiful concoction and you go to bite your pickle and it's like limp and it's not crispy and it's not crunchy. That's why I love McClure's for a Bloody Mary. Their pickles are always crunchy, fresh, and they're like a flavor bomb. Dill and garlic, absolutely delicious. And I know you have a couple different varieties of McClure's there sitting in front of you. Can you uh, go through this demo and walk us through how to make a great Bloody Mary right at home? Yeah, absolutely. Well, what I love most about McClure's pickles is they give you so much brine in the jar that you can actually save your empty jar like I did here and add that to your Bloody Mary mix just to bump up the pickle a little bit more. So today I have American Liquor Company Vodka. Uh, American Liquor Company Vodka is the first and only four crop blended vodka utilizing the best of the Midwest. So we actually take grains from four different Midwest states and blend them together to make our vodka. So from Michigan, we're actually using rye from Valentine and from Grand Traverse up in Traverse City. Um, and then it's blended and bottled right in Temperance, Michigan, so right at the Ohio border. So everything is Midwest. I'm actually in Denver for a wedding, so I had to bring a little sample for myself to use this morning. Uh, so that's right here. So we'll add that to this empty jar of McClure's pickle brine that I had with some ice in it. And then I have the McClure's Bloody Mary mix. What I love about their Bloody Mary mix is it was actually born out of their pickles. Customers would tell them that they were saving their pickle brine and adding tomato paste and different spices and juices to make their Bloody Mary at home. And so McClure's is like, we could make this and we could make this really great and we could make it easier for people. And I'm all about easy at home cocktails. I'm just adding a little bit of Bloody Mary mix to the jar. I'll shake it up. And Cole, as you're preparing that, I'm curious, I know a lot of people like their bloody spicy, some people not so much. What are things you can yes. incorporate into a pickle Bloody Mary to maybe add the heat up a little bit for those who like a spicier Bloody Mary? Yeah, absolutely. I love adding like a hot sauce to mine. So if we're talking about like a Detroit made hot sauce, Rebel Fire is great, but like Tabasco, Frank's, anything you like. McClure's actually makes a spicy mix and that's what I'm using today. So if you like a little bit of heat in yours, it's perfect for that. Um, I'm also gonna add a little bit of Worcestershire just after. Another great thing about McClure's is that it is vegan. So if you are a vegan, you know, normally they do have that Worcestershire in it. So you don't have to worry about that. But I like that kind of like anchovy funky taste in mine. So then that's all set. And then all I'm gonna do is of course, add a pickle to it. Just the to most important part, of course. More. The most important part of a really good Bloody Mary is definitely a McClure's pickle. The ones I'm using today are their garlic and dill. So just their classic, absolutely delicious and honestly perfect for a wedding weekend in Denver. And Cole, and yeah, as, you're, as you are finishing that up, it looks delicious. Where can people find more information about American Liquor Company and McClure's before we let you go? So American Liquor Company, you can visit our website, AmericanLiquorCompany.com. And for McClure's, you can visit their website, McClure's.com. And for the month of July to celebrate National Pickle Month, uh, McClure's is giving 20% off online orders. So if you go awesome. on the website and enter code SUMMER, you can get a 20% off. Cole Levy, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thanks so much for having me.